Firstly, uh, Kurt is welcome back to this world of setup. Um, can you just talk us through how your call up all came about? Yeah, um, a bit of a surprise call up. Uh, I, I've been following uh, the group from afar, um, watching their progression over the over the last couple of years, and um, obviously the Banksy and and Hodgie have been doing a fine job at the back, at fullback, and it's unfortunate they've been injured. And uh, yeah, and uh, I, I guess uh, that the boys came over, coming over to Spring Tour, um, needed needed to, needed some help in that in that position. So they gave us a call, gave me a call, and uh, yeah, I, I guess super stoked. Didn't really see it coming, but uh, you know, really, really hot, really, uh, you know. Excited to be here, uh, and uh, yeah, and just it's it's it's, it's great. Um, when you met, made that move overseas, over to France, was when you made the move? Did you was that that thought that your time in the Wallaby jersey and time in the Wallaby camp might realistically be over? Um, not not necessarily. No, uh, I still felt. Uh, I think individually, I can still add, um, uh, and, and I'm still growing to, in the in the game. Uh, I feel uh, you know I can. I'm playing at Racing at the moment. Uh, a great club, a great rugby club. Um, surrounded by some some really good players, uh, international players, and uh, so my, my hunger is still there to to keep growing as a player, to keep pushing myself uh, with the best and, and against the best. So, uh, obviously, with the side of the World Cup uh, in France in 2023, uh, it's still a goal of mine. Uh, it's still something I want to be a part of. Uh, and so I'm just trying to do my trade uh, over here and um, and just keep working hard to, for for an opportunity. And now an opportunity has come on the spring tour, and uh, I'm you know I'm truly yeah, just really really honoured and, and grateful for for another opportunity and to be amongst a you know really exciting group. You touched on watching from afar, and um, having seen this Wallaby side over the past twelve months, what has stood out for you and sort of. What have you been your impressions in these first couple of days of being around almost a new, new sort of coaching staff and a bunch of new players? Yeah, I've been admiring from afar uh, ever since uh, I've uh, I kind of left the group and wasn't part of it anymore. But uh, you just see how they've grown so much. Uh, the leadership from Dave and the coaching staff uh, and hoops on the field, it's uh, they're growing and um, you can see a lot of... Uh, the guys are feeling comfortable now. There's a lot of young, fresh faces, um, and now feeling a lot more comfortable in that position. And coming in for the first time, you can you can see a you know real difference in culture and, and the, the the standards really high. The level of professionalism professionalism is, is you know, really high, and and, and uh, you know it's something that you want to be a part of. And it's a credit to the to the group, to the guys all buying into. You know the leadership of Dave and, and and the vision that they that that he wants to that he wants to strive by and go by and uh, and I think yeah it, it's uh, as I said it's 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 great to be a part of and it's really evident in the, in the way the boys conduct themselves and, and the boys the way they carry themselves around uh, on and off the pitch here and uh, you know I'm I'm really look, I'm really yeah really really excited to be a part of it and to to try and add my experience and influence uh, to make it a you know a really uh, Hopefully, a successful spring tour. Just sort of just touching on that culture, um, sort of being around this group for the first couple of days. What have you noticed that um, as compared to sort of different Wallaby squads? We know Dave Rennie's so big on building a good culture. Uh, I just think uh, it's a real family feel here. Um, no matter who you are, the youngest, the oldest, uh, the most cap, the youngest cap, everyone feels there's a real kind of brotherhood here. Um, I haven't used that word in a while, but uh, it, it really does feel like you, you're in a family uh, environment, and uh, you know there's a there's a lot of respect thrown around, and and, and the guys are working really hard. Um, you know, it, it's a it was a great opportunity, I guess, for, for for the new group to to start their own their own kind of identity and build on a new identity, striving to the next World Cup, and you know guys like Hunter and. You know the, the the rest of the young boys, uh, you know, really um, coming into their own and and finding a voice and and really leading a path there. So it's uh, yeah, it's it's um, it's great to see, and uh, certainly uh, you know it's it's um, it's going in the right direction. You know, 
you can see with the last few ga last five games, they've got five in a row now, and and it's uh, you know that 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 doesn't come easy when guys are working really hard in the background, um, you know, really trying to make a difference and um, you know put some you know uh, you know I guess good. Uh, you know, good uh, uh, faith and good, good, good respect in the jersey. I uh, really appreciate you sitting patient, patiently there, but I suppose you can probably oh, imagine why Kirtley's dominating the convo. Oh, um, Kirtley, just um, when you left, you made mention that you hadn't given up hope of playing again. Um, what were the conversations with Dave Rennie or just the Wallabies coaching structure on a whole when you left? Uh, there wasn't much chat. Uh, to be honest, um, but that was okay. I think uh, I think we kind of left it as it was, and I think in in, in for me, uh, I, I I was on a on a on a I guess a path just to try and uh, keep developing my game in in another country. Um, another opportunity came along, and um, and uh, you know playing football in another country was it, the change was good at that time after the World Cup. It was. You know, quite quite disappointing, you, you know, the, the 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 loss in the quarter final in '19 really uh, really hit home with me, and uh, I thought the change was great for me. Uh, and again, like being away from this environment, um, you kind of miss home a bit, uh, but it makes you realise how special it is, how how great the Wallaby jersey, how great uh, you know representing your country really is. Uh, there's so many followers over here in Europe. Um, the Wallabies are a well-respected country, renowned, you know, rugby nation, and you know, being afar, being a proud Wallaby myself, it, it's it was it's just great to see the guys doing so well, and and now to have an opportunity to to be involved and to try and you know help in any way I can uh, to to make it a successful tour this 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 spring tour. Um, you know, I'm I'm really I'm really excited about it. When you came back last time, um, many pundits thought that you had improved your game. Um, do you think that once again, uh, having been in Europe now, second season there, that your game's developed actually, and it's and it's not necessarily the Kirtley Bill from 2019. You're playing in the top 14. You, you're definitely exposed to a lot of uh, you know different styles of rugby. The games can be slow. The, the conditions have a, a huge impact on on how you play the game over here. So it's a long season, so it's always challenging week to week games. Um, and so, yeah, I guess it opens your eyes up to, to a more holistic approach and, and, and uh, uh, on, on how the game's played. And I feel like I, I have that now. I have, I have that experience. And, you know, I think, uh, you know, the, the benefit of playing against some of, the, some of the best guys in Europe, I think French, French the French team are, you know, probably the, probably the most improved team in, in the national game at the moment, um, in an international game at the moment and players like DuPont, Antimac, these guys are playing rugby week in, week out and are some pretty world class players. So yeah, it's great to be able to play, uh, you know, in, the, in a competition like, uh, like that and, uh, you know, I definitely feel like it's definitely helped my game. And what's um, Finn Russell? Uh, I'm sure our Scottish friends are interested about what you've made of him, but yeah. You know, he, he, there's a little bit of Quade Cooper, that mercurial kind of ten nature about him. But how has he helped your game, and and has he kind of opened up your eyes to that attacking brand of rugby that, that a lot of people, in particular, you like? Yeah, I, I guess before signing to Russing, he was probably a key a key ingredient for me to go there. Uh, I knew that they would play an attacking style of game, and so I didn't really have to change too much. Um, in, in the way I kind of approach my rugby, so he made it definitely made it easier. He's obviously a, a world class ten, um, you know, great vision of the game and has a really good positive influence on on, on the guys around him in, in in the way they play the game. Play the game. So uh, yeah, he's a great guy. He's he's, uh, he's definitely helped me settle settle in, uh, one, being one of the foreigners at the club. So uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting week. <laughs> Kirtley, as someone who wanted to play at the 2023 World Cup, so how did it make you feel sitting and watching a guy like Quay come back, an old pal, come back into the you know four, start playing well? How did that sit with you from afar, watching him come back into the spotlight? Just made me really eager to be back, to try and get back. To, it made it motivated me a lot. Uh, you know, it uh, it definitely made me realise, you know. Um, 
you know, it, it is a special environment to be a part of. You know, it, it's 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 great. It was great to see Quaid and, and Karevi back. Uh, you know, th those guys had a, a really good positive influence on the group. It certainly gave them a lot of direction on the field. You can see how they quite con con controlled the game, and it just allowed you know the the rest of the team just to calm and and just play their natural game. And hopefully, I can have that type of influence when now now that I'm here. Um, I know James is doing a great job in that ten jersey uh, training, and and uh, you know I'm I'm sure he does have that influence on the group. So. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, seeing guys like that come back have a positive influence, it just motivated me more to try and put my best case forward um, when an opportunity comes. Which position do you think you'd be best suited in if you get a chance? Obviously, you played 10, 12, 15. Um, what do you think in this current role of his team you could be um, best suited? Uh, prop? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fullback. Uh, full back at the moment, yeah, it'll be that'll be great. Uh, obviously, there's been injuries in that uh, in, in that position, so um, be nice to to get an opportunity there. But at the moment, it's it's just great to be in and around a group. I can't tell you how how, how great it feels. It's it's um it's surreal, but uh, you know, really making the most of it, connecting with the lads, and uh, you know, um, trying to put our best foot forward to to put in some some special performances over here. Hunter, we might just bring you in here. Um, Sorry. Samu Karevi, everyone, all the focus has been over him of late, but you made your return against Japan. How um, how important was it to get some minutes under your belt there and now leading into that spring tour and today's November tests? Um, yeah, no, obviously it's, it's good to be back with the squad after a few weeks off of, of my baby. Um, and, um, yeah, just... Um, yeah, it's good to be back. Was it was it difficult? Like when you, it's always a tough thing when you're when you're away and you give up your position for a short time, and then someone else comes in and, and they make a real statement. It's hard to get in. Competition's always a, a good thing, but it can be hard for the incumbents if they miss a match. Was it a little bit difficult sitting on the sidelines? Yeah, I was, but obviously sitting on the sideline and watching the boys doing well, which is. Which was good, and spending time with um, Bub, which was, and boys like uh, someone that played real well, and and I was happy for for them and the team. And so there was some talk about you actually coming on the tour. Obviously, there was there's a few guys who've been left at home to get a full preseason under their belt. Were you fully committed to coming to the tour? Or was it also tough leaving your partner? Obviously, you spent a lot of time on the road this year. Yeah, no, I was full committed coming to the. Um, spring tour, um, had a few chats with Dave and that, and what he wanted me to do while I had my time off at that time. And Kurt Lee, just, uh, you've been playing a lot of 13 at the moment for, for Racing as well. Is is that even a potential of, of jumping there? Like, clearly injuries dictate uh, where you go often, but you know what? What's defending in the front line? You're there on twelve on the weekend. What's you know? What are the challenges there? And, and defensively, that must have been a pretty good kind of test as well. Yeah, it's great. I, I think um, I guess as a player, you always you always kind of back yourself wherever you are on the field. Um, I feel like I've had the experience in 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 the in the position 10, 12, 15. Not so much thirteen. It's kind of a bit of a random um, selection, I guess, but. You know the Frenchies are. You know, I guess they they back you. They they have confidence in, with you in those in in those scenarios. So, um, but yeah, that that was a bit of cup, cup playing thirteen was a, a bit of a surprise for me as well. So, but it's all good. Um, I guess for me, it's, again, it's it's better for the experience, right? So you you kind of you get you start to understand. You read the game differently, um, being at, you know in different positions, and so it's just a, I guess a. I guess another opportunity just to, to be able to enhance your game, enhance your skills, and and develop your and so for, for developing for improvement.